I got here with me. What's going on, guys? Anybody know this fella? This is uh, Ray Gentry and Shul Yacker TV. Go check him out. Go down here at the uh, deep water point. Uh, down here at the marina. I am the guest of this fella right here. So uh, I've, ne I've never been here, don't know what to expect. We're going to try it. Hopefully the rain will hold off. We'll have a good time. Yeah. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use Carolina rigs and drag mullet on the bottom. That's pretty much the only thing we're doing. Keep it real simple and you can catch some fish. There's there's definitely some big old flatties laying down here. Hopefully we'll be able to bring some to you. All right, guys. You heard it. We're going to try it. See you in a bit. Make sure you get this sign. Okay. Beware of alligators and snakes. Do not feed the animals. Ah. Okay. Just uh, to let you know, I have seen an alligator down here. Have you? Yes. Okay. In the water? In the water. <laughs> okay. Not on uh, this trail. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> there's about a, about a four footer and then there's about a six footer. Well, that's some very good information to, uh, <laughs> to to note, okay, guys? At least they keep it mowed for you. Yeah. That's a good thing. Hopefully, there ain't nothing. Oh, my gosh. Where, where the heck are you going now? Nope. Okay. Good <laughs> uh, adventure. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And here we are. Here we are, guys. Let's get out of there. See, they posted that. Uh, Biggest sheep's head I've ever caught in my life was right there before they posted it. Wow. All right, guys, look at this. I get all the way down here, walk about a half a mile, and I get down here, and uh, my bell broke. It's early. I had to go back to the truck. I do have my casking stuff there at the, at the truck, so I'm going to go back and get one of those. So I'll be back shortly. Well, I'm going to go catch bait while he's. Uh going to play replace the rod <laughs> can I grab one of your mud minnows yeah, dang that is a big old mud minnow look at that big old mud minnow Not a big one, but it's a flounder. Ah. Nah. Yeah, not bad. And you caught it on that stripe mud metal, didn't you? Yeah. Alright, that's all I need to know. Yep, yep. Alright guys, here you go. First one of the morning. Caught it on a mud minnow. Just dragging the bottom. All right, guys, I'll show you my setup here in just a second. I'm going to get this thing back in the water. Hey, 
Look at that, Uh, about, I don't know, 12 inches so, 13, I didn't, I didn't measure it. All right guys, so what I got here, I got my, I got my casking, cast cat rod. It's a little bit overkill for what I'm doing, but may not be, might need it. There's some big old flounder out here. I got my uh, uh, casking Kodiak 4000, uh, got my, and I'm using the Cast Pro 30 pound braid. And, and uh, this is the black, the blackout. I've got a, I think that's a half ounce weight, a bead, a swivel, 30 pound mono to a four alt kel hook is my setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another mud mana. Be right back. All right, guys, let's see if we can get another one. Go with mullet right there. That's what we're getting ready to try to get. guys there's another one <laughs> like five feet from my from my feet i mean i had it right there at my feet and it come up and nailed it put it back rock I think. An elusive rock fish. <laughs> yeah. The wrong rock fish. I know, ain't that the truth. It's God telling us we should have gone to Fort Fisher. I know. That's right. I mean that's all it can be. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah. Look at that guys, look at that sky. Look at the sun shining down through like that down to the water. That is beautiful. There he is. He hit it twice. I pulled it away from him the first time because I didn't know if it was a fish or not. It ain't very big. Caught it on that mud mana. All right, guys. Here's another one for the books. Caught it on the mud mana. About the same, about the same length. About probably 12 inches long, something like that. Getting back. He might have been. He might have been 15 feet out from from where I'm standing. Whoa! There he goes. Okay. Y'all see that thing? Y'all see him down the water? There he goes. <laughs> Bring you a pair of water shoes when you come out here on the beach like this, because this is kind of rocky. It's a decent size. And get him back on the hook and try it again. That's number three. Let's see if we can't get a few more. You caught yours on a mullet though, right? Fish on, fish on.
see what he's got. I see what. Oh, another flounder. There we go. Fish number two. My camera died. So. <laughs> Not bad. Not yeah. bad. Oh, was it? Yep. Oh, okay. I think uh, I think we're gonna have to get some more mullet. These things out here are kind of. They're iffy. I think the water. Yeah. Water. Quick. All right. Yeah, hopefully another school will come up here. Got a bite. Give it a few seconds here, and it's right here at my feet. I mean, it's just right here. I think I got a bite, and it's just right here, right here in front of me. I may be wrong, but it felt like a hit. Yep. Yep. Yep, this is a little bigger here. A little bit, not not much, but whoa. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a little bigger there. That right there might be eating size there. All right, guys, there we go. There we go, I had to get pliers for him. He took that in a little bit deeper. I, I care to stick my fingers down in his mouth. I don't know, I think he's a little bit short probably. He's not bad, he might make the cut, but I'm gonna put him back. He, a little bit small. Ah, golly. All right guys. There we go. Right there at my feet. Woo! Get away from my darn feet. Thing's trying to take a toe off. Okay, okay. Woo! Woo! Bye. your dang feet. Alright, right, Ray's getting ready to set the hook on one. Oh, oh. dang it. Almost. Almost. Strike two. Strike two. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one in on right there. There we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, do, it does. It does definitely help. Like like whenever you know this video here, whenever we make it, I mean, it's gonna it's gonna it'll bring you some subscribers. I'm sure. At least I hope it does. <laughs> but well, I hope hope you enjoyed the. My little, my little honey hole. Yeah, I did. I appreciate, I appreciate you uh, bringing me out here, man. Yeah, we, uh, <coughs> we, did pretty, we did pretty decent. We did I all right. Caught eight. Yeah.
It's not bad. Not bad for shore fishing. No, no. I, I, I think this is the most flounder I've ever caught in one, in one setting. Seriously? Yeah, yes, sir. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we do pretty decent out here. We do pretty decent. Um, I'm a little shocked at the size, to be honest with you, dude. They're usually bigger. I think that's a, that's a <laughs> to, to end on. Yeah, yeah. That was good. It like that though, because you know I just missed two. And <laughs> you caught one. And... I got uh, to end somewhere because. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't want to go to that doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. We definitely don't want you to go there, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, I really, really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I had a, yes, had a yes, blast. Sir. Well, I had a great day. Caught, what, eight? Yeah, we caught eight. We caught eight. eight. Yeah. Pretty yeah. decent day. Yeah, uh, we had a blast. All right, guys, I just want you to uh, go on to uh, Inshore Yacker TV, Ray Gentry. He has some great content. Be sure to subscribe. Hopefully, you can hear me over the wind. I know the wind's kind of bad. Be sure to check out his channel. Go subscribe. Like he's saying, the fall bite's getting ready to kick in. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. you see a lot of action, a lot of good videos coming up. Awesome. See y'all soon. Take care, guys.